Hello and welcome to another episode of Bald Man Tech. So in today's video, we're going to be going over this Motile 14 inch laptop that you can pick up from Walmart online and uh, go over some of its useful features and how it really is to use while working from home. So for the first thing that you notice is that it's a aluminum construction. You have an aluminum top and aluminum bottom. Everything feels really nice, so it's a rather premium feeling device. In its price category of right now, it's right around $400. Uh, there's very little to compete in a way of uh, the, the feel of it. There's the HP 14 that's in a similar price bracket, um, but the, you get a lot more plastic there. Now the Motile brand isn't as well known. It is a Walmart brand. For our experience, and we've had these now for several months, uh, I really wanted to use them for a while to make sure that they were good and uh, so far it has been very very nice to use as far as the screen goes you get a 1080p display it isn't the brightest it's not bright enough for outside it is plenty bright enough for doing online work and honestly when you're you know working online you don't want a real bright screen that'll cause a, a lot of eye strain over uh, the long period so for that purpose it does pretty well the battery life lasts about two hours but there's a caveat to that is that I run my processor state at the maximum 100% state and I run it as fast as it can possibly go on the power management so and full brightness on the screen so with that being said um, I want everything as, as, as fast as it can be therefore it usually drains the battery a lot faster now if you were to just do light using and maybe not use full brightness and you have the processor you could easily get four to five hours out of it but for its price point you're know, around the $400 it's a pretty good deal. Now, I didn't pay $400, and I've seen these now for $400. Even the black ones now are $450. Uh, I actually have two of these. I have uh, my personal one uh, that I covered with some leather that I bought on eBay for $215. And then this is my wife's computer that she uses as her daily driver. And I think we spent $300 new from Walmart's website. So I have a refurbished one and a brand new one, and they both have been equally reliable and have held up great this is not the fastest laptop but in its price category you get a ryzen 3 3200u processor which is a quad core built on the 12 nanometer manufacturing process so it's rather efficient and with the four cores it's certainly enough to multitask when it comes to running multiple web browsers playing different videos uh, doing the tracking software from say Upwork, uh, using Zendesk, Gorgeous, Amazon, Etsy, eBay, you name it. Uh, for the most part, it does pretty well. Like I say, it's not the fastest one. It's certainly faster due to its power management. It's faster plugged in, so you'll get over 3 gigahertz up to 3.5. Though when unplugged, typically you're only going to see right around 2.6 gigahertz as a max clock. With that being said, the fan does get a little noisy if you're running a lot of tasks for a while. The speakers aren't the greatest. My wife's Galaxy Note 10 Plus and my S20 Ultra are both way louder than this thing, but you know, once again, you're looking at a 400, and at the time of the launch, it was a little over $200 laptop. So due to tariffs and COVID, shipping costs, and just everything that's been going on in this uh, crazy year, the prices have skyrocketed on these. I would imagine that a lot of people are buying these for working, you know, work from home, or buying them perhaps for their kids to do schooling. It has no problem uh, doing Zoom meetings, uh, Hangouts, Skype, I mean, all, all of those different things it does quite well in. Now, the, the camera is 720p, um, so it's not the greatest camera. I personally run a piece of tape over it because I don't really need to use the camera function, and I prefer a hardware, or physical you know blockage of the camera versus a software where you're just supposed to trust it in the, today's day and age um, as far as other features the keyboard is pretty nice uh, chiclet style and it uh, feels pretty good uh, you can type pretty quickly on it uh, it is backlit which is a huge plus um, with, you know working around home you're often in a lot of lower light environments unless you you know work right next to a window or something especially in the evening time so having a backlit keyboard does that's a that's a huge plus and something you typically would only find on a more premium device uh, when it comes to the trackpad it's okay it's got a little bit of lag it's not always immediately responsive so I would give it a probably 80% out of a hundred rating for its use personally I like the Lance head wireless uh, my wife uses the MX Master 3 by Logitech so these are you know quite premium mice um, but I also use this on my desktop and she does her uh, her MX3 as well so it's kind of a one one mouse multiple device situation it is pretty nice it has Bluetooth so like for her MX Master 3 the mouse connects to the laptop via Bluetooth and then for the Razer um, it has the dongle so I plug it in over here so it's out of the way and that works equally as well so you can certainly use Bluetooth uh, audio devices if you want so that's a real nice functionality to have as well 
the Wi-Fi speed is an older uh, Wi-Fi card, so it's not quite up to like Wi-Fi 6 speeds, but it is more than adequate to get the job done. In the future, I think I'd like to upgrade it, and it is upgradable um, to like a Wi-Fi 6 Intel card, and maybe that would help speed it up a little bit. Now, out of the box, this thing comes with 4 gigabytes of RAM, and honestly, for Google Chrome, uh, you could probably use the new uh, Microsoft Edge, which is a lot more efficient when it comes to uh, memory usage. But Google Chrome, honestly, I would highly recommend you at least get eight gigabytes. I think eight gigs should be the minimum in today's day and age. Uh, four gigs is kind of cutting it close. You're not gonna find yourself likely editing anything on this. I have tried it with Adobe Premiere and it will run it. It is uh, quite slow um, as to be expected uh, using its uh, onboard Vega 3 graphics. Lee, too slow for me to see as a practical user in that department. And the same thing goes for games outside of say playing a flash game or you know, some web-based game is probably would do just fine with. You're certainly not going to be uh, playing many AAA titles on this uh, laptop. You know, the trade-off is, is that those graphics do power this 1080p screen, and for a 14-inch uh, display, you get a pretty crisp display. This does have a, a matte screen, so it doesn't reflect a whole lot of light, which is nice. In the front of the device, you do get a uh, micro SD, and uh, on the right side of the device, you get your barrel jack for uh, charging it. I tried to charge it through the USB-C just to test it. That did not work, so this is only USB-C. You do get a USB 3.0 right here, type A, and your HDMI. And on the opposite side, which would be the left side of the laptop, you get another USB type 3 and a USB type 2, along with your Ethernet jack and your headphone jack that can also use microphone. So. I prefer laptops that usually have their microphone jack on the side because if you have one of the laptops and it comes out the front, typically if it's sitting in your lap or you have a lap desk or anything like that, you're likely to keep bumping your uh, headphones plugged in there and eventually that will wear out the cord on your head headphones or make the jack loop. As far as the upgradability goes, you take off these six screws right here and underneath you will find your M.2 drive and there's an additional M.2 drive slot for expansion. So we installed an additional 128 gig drive along with its onboard included 128 gig. Here's where your speakers are out. So if it is sitting on your lap, this will muffle your speakers a little bit. This is your intake. So you really wouldn't want to block that completely. And then an exhaust right out here out the back. Um, right underneath the screen so really for the most part you get a little bit of heat build up when it comes to up in this area but it's not too terrible we prefer to use our lap desk style so that way it gets good airflow and uh, just for general comfort for long time usage we use these laptops for hours and hours every day we also have full on gaming rigs and desktops so we use those as well but sometimes you get tired of sitting in an office chair especially working from home and you're like you know what? I'm going to sit on the couch and uh, kick back here and get some work done so for that purpose, it works really well. I prefer the 14 inch size just so it does fit on that lap desk. And when you have a larger uh, display, you, that you know typically makes your laptop larger. So you get less space to run your mouse. And for me, mouse speed is optimal, especially for redundant tasks. So, and be able to have this cheap little uh, $1 mouse pad is very nice and that way you have enough room to use it and it's not too wide also this weighs in at approximately two and a half pounds so you're definitely looking at a relatively lightweight laptop so it's it's pretty comfortable for long periods of time as far as additional negatives i'd have to say i'd like to see the backlit screen uh, the backlit keyboard be a little bit brighter it's quite hard to see during the daytime but at night i mean it's it's functional it, it would be nice if it was a little brighter the power brick that comes with it this is a 65 watt power brick with a typical right angle barrel connectors which is nice so at least it kind of stays out of your way but i really hate these new plugs when they have the actual 120 volt prong sticking right out the side here instead of uh having an, an additional cord at least something like that so if you plug it into the wall and it kind of has a lot of weight so if you have older outlets that are a little wore out or if you have a power strip with not much space, it's really hard to get this to stay in the wall or to get it to fit into a power strip. So I definitely recommend maybe having a very short extension cord, you know, like a little three footer to get you that extra length. This cord comes in at about five feet long. So it's certainly also shorter than some of the old ones that used to get six, seven, eight feet long with the uh, two cords. So that's a personal preference thing. Also of note, this comes with a full version of Windows 10 at home, not S mode. Getting that full version of Windows allows you and gives you the freedom to do everything you need. Unless you're super security conscious and you trust Microsoft with absolutely everything, then maybe you would go S mode. But for me, that's just not the case. 
so that pretty much wraps up my uh, little video here on uh, this laptop and uh, I would definitely say that as time goes on you know look for those deals if you can find one of these maybe refurbished that's in good condition I would definitely recommend it you know just a year ago these things were just a little over $200 and now they've swelled you know almost to 400 so I almost find it hard to recommend something like this at that price point of you know a hundred percent over what it was before but when you compare it to its competitors and what it has to offer um, I think having the Ryzen 3 is definitely the way to go or Ryzen 5 if you're you know a lot of the competitors still have the older uh, Athlon and those just are older generation on uh, AMD processors and they still want you know $375 $350 I've also seen laptops that are just over $300 or, or even sub $300 and they have some kind of you know, either like a MediaTek processor or, or something that's just uh, not quite up to, you know, I think everyday standards. So, you know, it's worth a little bit of premium to at least get a more mainstream processor that has the functionality to do what you need. I hope that uh, helps some of you out if you're thinking or looking for a, a laptop. You typically do not find this on Amazon. It's on Walmart's website only. I wish everyone well in this uh, very crazy year, and I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all for watching, and if you did enjoy today, video customary please hit that subscribe button and like button and uh, I'll see you all in the next video bye for now